I've always been pushing that envelope. I want to hit my head on the ceiling of my talent. I don't ever want to fail, but I want to risk failure every time out of the gate. The Hateful Eight, Tarantino's eighth film, comes out in a couple of months now. First trailer was just released online. This is a movie that almost didn't happen. After the script leaked, Quentin Tarantino sued Gawker for releasing it and pulled the plug, said he was never going to make it into a movie, that he would probably publish it as a novel after that. He ended up leading a live reading of the script and ultimately decided to make the movie. I haven't looked up the script online. I have no interest in looking up the script online. I'm perfectly happy waiting for this one to come out in theaters. Quentin Tarantino, man, he is one to watch. Just looking at his filmography is impressive. You have Reservoir Dogs, which was amazing. Jackie Brown, which was amazing. Pulp Fiction, which was amazing. Kill Bill 1 and 2, which were amazing. Death Proof, which was kind of pretty good. Then you got Inglorious Bastards, which was amazing. Django Unchained, which was amazing. And now, The Hateful Eight. Tarantino's been nominated for numerous Academy Awards. He's won twice, in 94 for Pulp Fiction, and in 2012 for Django Unchained, both for screenwriting. Now the quote from the intro, that was Quentin Tarantino in an interview with New York Times just before the release of Django Unchained. He's constantly trying to evolve. And this is only his eighth full film. He directed a scene in Sin City. He directed a part of a movie in Four Rooms. This is only his eighth film that he's made himself. And he did that. he's done that on purpose. He's gone on record multiple times saying he would rather look back at his filmography and be impressed with every film that he's made than put out 40 films and hope that one or two of them are good. Samuel L. Jackson is back for his sixth Tarantino film. He's been in six out of the eight. Now in addition to Samuel L. Jackson, Zoe Bell is back for another film with Tarantino. James Parks is back. Kurt Russell is back. Returning as director of photography is Robert Richardson. Robert Richardson's been nominated for eight Academy Awards. He's won three of them. Richardson received Academy Awards in 1992 for JFK, 2005 for The Aviator, and 2012 for Hugo. This film was shot entirely on 70 millimeter film. Physical medium. It wasn't shot digitally. I've decided to do a separate video on 70 millimeter film and what's different about it. So if you're interested, click here. I'll put a link to it as soon as the video is uploaded. I've separated that out because I know that conversations like that aren't for everybody. If you're here just for a review or a discussion of the trailer, I don't want to bore you with all the extra stuff. If you're interested, click on the link and I'll talk about 70 millimeter film and what it means for aspect ratios and how it'll convert to Blu-ray. If you're not interested in it, don't click and I won't bore you. <laughs> Edited in Scott here. Uh, when I was going through the film for some reason, the half of one video just decided to completely crap out on me. Uh, in that part of the video, I said that uh, Tarantino, as part of his distribution deal, has arranged for 50 theaters across the nation to be retrofitted with 70 millimeter projectors so that he can show the movie in those theaters the way that it was intended to be seen. Nobody really knows what the 50 theaters are. They haven't released an, a, a list or anything, uh, but we know it's going to happen. Now back to recorded me. Since I absolutely refuse to look up the script and find out any sort of details about it, all I'm going off of is what's publicly released. There really isn't a whole lot about the plot of this movie. I know that there's a woman who's wanted dead or alive, and that there's eight people, primarily. I know that there's a blizzard. They're going to be trapped inside. It's a huge setup for Tarantino dialogue. But I'm kind of a sucker for Tarantino dialogue. <laughs> Some things to expect with a new Tarantino movie. An amazing soundtrack. This man is near savant when it comes to putting together soundtracks for movies. Lots of cursing, lots of violence, huge amounts of blood, and some of the best written dialogue at any point this year. Tarantino is absolutely one of my favorite directors, so if there's a theater anywhere near us that is showing the film in 70mm, I'm going to go see it that way. <laughs> Are any of you looking forward to Hateful Eight as much as I am? 
let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what your favorite Tarantino flick is. <laughs> I'll put a link to my other video dealing with 70mm film and what that means for the movie going experience. If you're interested, click. If you're not interested, don't click. As always, thanks for watching. Like if you like. And if you want to see these and all of my reviews, don't forget to subscribe.